Hello friends, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here today and we are gonna make something delicious for Thanksgiving. So if you already know that somebody else has pumpkin pies, pecan pies, sweet potato pies covered, but you've been asked to provide a dessert, I have the perfect dessert for you. And I know everyone's going to love it and they're going to want the recipe. So today I'm gonna to share with you my pumpkin caramel, um, <laughs> Pumpkin caramel cake, that's what it is, with yummy frosting. So let's get started on our cake. So first you're gonna start with a spice cake mix. So I just am using, what is this, Betty Crocker, but spice cake mix first. So put that in, and then to that, we're going to add our spices. So this is going to be a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. It smells wonderful. I love fall spices. It smells so good. And on the cinnamon, we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, okay? And I'm being a little generous with the cinnamon as I always am because I do love that. Okay, so we're gonna add the cinnamon and then we're going to add the pumpkin pie spice. And that's actually gonna be one tablespoon. Okay, that sounds like a lot, but it's one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. This cake is wonderful. Has those nice warm fall, flavors. Okay, so one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. All right, and then to that, we're going to add a half a cup of water and a third of a cup of vegetable oil and four eggs. I'm just dumping everything in and then I'll just mix it all at one time. And then I'm using a 15 ounce can of uh, pumpkin puree, okay? So the whole can of pumpkin goes in here. And our oven is preheating to 350 degrees right now. You notice I didn't look at the paper because I'm looking at Renee because she set the oven for me. Okay. So it's preheating 350. All right, so let's mix this up together. And that's it for the cake. Okay, there we go. Our batter's all nice and mixed up. So now we're gonna pour it into a 13 by nine pan. And we're going to um, spray it with our happy little baker's joy okay so much easier for me to use this baker's joy versus you know doing the crisco with the flour and all the things it's like these little cans are so handy for baking cakes okay so now i'm just going to pour this into the pan Oh, it smells wonderful. I love these fall spices. It smells so good. And I love, <laughs> I love pumpkin too. And actually, I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret about pumpkin. So I've told, I've shared with you guys before that, you know, I don't know how to make pie crust. I've tried and they're not good. My mother made fabulous pie crust. So I was at Walmart the other day and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna um, uh, try one of the great value pumpkin pies that they sell, the frozen pies. I used to buy, 
you know, like Marie calendars, which a lot of our Marie calendars here have gone out of business or Polly's pies. And those are just a kind of okay. But um, there was Claim Jumper would sell frozen pies. And oh my word, they were amazing. They tasted like they were homemade. Well, they no longer make those and sell them at the store anymore. So I was looking for a frozen pie that I could purchase and bake for Thanksgiving that would taste delicious. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to try great value. Why not? So I bought one just in case it wasn't good or, you know, if the crust tasted like cardboard or something, I was like, yeah, no. So anyway, you guys, those great value pumpkin pies are amazing. They are delicious. The crust is buttery and flaky and it has just the right amount of spices in the filling. Oh my word. So I was thinking, okay, well, if that one wasn't good, I would do, there is frozen Marie Calendar pies you can get. But I'm telling you, these great value pumpkin pies, Marie Calendars doesn't even hold a candle to it. So guess what kind of pies I'm buying for Thanksgiving? You got it, great value. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm setting my timer, 23 minutes, could possibly go up to 28. Okay, let's make the frosting for our wonderful pumpkin caramel cake. So this is an eight ounce, package of softened cream cheese. There we go. One stick of softened butter. Okay. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of Smucker's caramel. I'm going to start adding powdered sugar and this part's kind of going to be to your liking. So, you know, anywhere from two to four cups. I'm going to go ahead and add some powdered sugar. And I've already pre-measured four cups. So we'll see if I end up using it all or not to get to the consistency that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add one teaspoon of vanilla. And this is vanilla extract and add some more powdered sugar. This is the consistency that I like and it tastes good. Okay. So you can definitely pick up the cream cheese taste in it. And um, so I have about, cause I pre-measured four cups. I'm going to guess that this is maybe, what do you think Renee? Another cup? that I did not add. So with what I did, let's just say I used three cups of powdered sugar, okay? So now we're just gonna wait for our cake to get done and then we're going to put it all together when it comes out of the oven once it cools off. So, and can I just tell you guys, oh my goodness. So I had to go to Hobby Lobby. I say I had to go. I got to go to Hobby Lobby because we know we all love that store. And you guys, I pulled into the parking lot. I couldn't believe how packed it was. And this is the middle of the week, middle of the day. Why is there so many cars here? So I drove around, drove around, drove around, drove around, drove around the Christmas drive around. And I thought, oh, surely all these cars are here because it's in a strip mall. Well, no, the minute I walked through the front doors, you guys, the lines were all the way. Every register was open. The lines were to the back of the store. I'm like, it's not even Christmas. We haven't even come to Thanksgiving yet. And the store is packed with people already. What is going on? So I go in the store and I'm all these people with tons of Christmas decorations in their carts overloaded. And then people standing in line while others were going to get stuff and bringing it to the cart that was already there waiting in line. I'm like, oh my word, this is like full on Christmas shopping going on. So then I start going through the store because I went there for a purpose to pick something up and I see the shelves empty, 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 empty in the Christmas section. And a lady that passed by me, she said, oh my goodness, can you believe this? I said, no, I can't believe it. 
She goes, look at these shelves. They're all empty. And we haven't even hit Thanksgiving yet. And these people are all buying Christmas stuff. Well, as some of you probably already know that are Hobby Lobby lovers, they had a 60% off sale on Christmas stuff this week. And that's why everybody was in the store shopping. And today, and again, I'm totally oblivious to what's going on. What, what day of the week is it? I don't even remember. So I was talking to Renee today, and she reminded me, Mom, next week is Thanksgiving. I said, no way. And she said, yeah. I thought, oh, my goodness, I haven't even thought about Thanksgiving. I got to start planning what I'm going to do. I mean, we do the normal traditional dishes, but... I got to start planning and seeing what the girls are going to bring and what they want to do and all that good stuff and what time and all that happiness. It's like, oh my goodness, time just flies by. I mean, flies by. But anyway, I'm thankful. I got to get in there and get what I needed. God is so good. And I want to tell you guys just one more little story real fast. So uh, I had gone to Hobby Lobby to look for a decoration for our fellowship hall at church. Well, I found this beautiful wooden clock. It was gorgeous. And I thought, okay, that's, that's the ticket. That's what I want. Well, it had a scratch in the face. And so I asked the girl at the register, I said, you know, this has a scratch in the wood. Um, do you think that you guys could discount it for me? And she said, I don't know. She said, we'll have to ask the manager. So she called the manager over and she said, you know, showed him the scratch. And, you know, she was wondering if you could discount it. And he was so rude. He goes, no. He goes, but, I, but she can order another one and we'll have it shipped to the store. And he was just an ugly man. He must have been miserable. I don't know. I don't know what his deal was, but whatever. God bless him. So he walks away and she said do you still want it and i didn't feel like i should get it because i was like the way it was i said no but could you please order me one and so she said sure so she's filling out the paper and then she leans over the counter to me after he walked away and she said ma'am she said if you wait and get this next week they're going on sale and it'll be way more than he would have ever given you anyway. And I said, really? And she said, yeah. And I said, oh, I go, well, then you know what? I'll wait till next week and I'll come back next week. You guys, I went this week. It was 50% off. That's why I was there. Thank you, Jesus. The blessings of God are, I mean, innumerable, right? I went, I got that clock for 50% off god was looking out for his own house as he always does and thank god he was rude i mean he didn't have to be rude he could have just said no but he was a jerk whatever god bless him like i said um but anyway so thank you jesus god is so good i went back this week got it for 50 percent off and you know thinking about it he probably would if he would have been nice and given me something it probably would have been like 10 or 15 percent and i would have been none the wiser they were on sale this week so praise jesus but i still love hobby lobby even though that little man needs a little christmas joy a little early but i'll be back soon to frost that cake once it gets cool Okay, let's frost our cake. It smells wonderful. So I'm going to put our happy little frosting on here. Ooh, you know what? It kind of almost smells like a cinnamon roll a little bit. Like a cinnamon, cinnamon roll. You can smell the cake and this frosting and it smells wonderful. Spread all that around to cover and kind of let it drop down the sides there we are going to take some more of our smucker's caramel and we're just going to drizzle it over the top of the cake okay i'm taking pecan halves and i'm just going to place them on top and then you guys are going to want to refrigerate this because of the cream cheese obviously in the frosting and the butter and this is another one of those wonderful things 
that um, you know you can make up um, the night before or the day of. <laughs> Um, and then it's ready to go when you come home. So your dessert is ready and this will be beautiful on your Thanksgiving dessert buffet. So you guys go get the ingredients to make this and I know you are going to love it. You guys have a blessed day and don't forget to be grateful for something today. God is so good to all of us and we have so much to be thankful for. I love you guys and I'll be chatting with you real soon.